Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm from La Mia Bella Grooming Salon. And today we're doing a tutorial video on nail trimming. This is Crawford who's going to help us out with this tutorial. Some of the equipment that we use for nail trimming um, I have laid out here. We have a large um, scissor type nail clipper. It has a guard which is this little piece of metal that moves back and forth here. It's designed to stop the nail before it gets too far and help you not quick dogs. Um, this one is a, the small, just the same brand, um, scissor type nail, trim, nail clipper. It also has a guard. These little tiny ones I use for puppy nails, just strictly for puppy nails because they tend to be more thin and pointy and it's just easier to get around there without hurting them and freaking them out too much um, with their first nail trim. This is um, a Dremel which is used to um, grind down the nails so they're not scratching you after they've been trimmed when the dogs jump on your legs. This particular Dremel is just a Dremel stylus um, bought from the Home Depot tool section, but any style Dremel would, would work. They make them specifically for dogs or you can get them at the tool department. This here is just a, a nail file. It works basically the same as the Dremel, but just not as good. This is Postiptic powder or Quick Stop. Um, it's, it's just a powdery substance that you can put on the dog's nail if you happen to quick the dog. Um, that will help coagulate the blood and stop the nail from bleeding. Um, so we're going to start with Crawford today. Crawford is going to be a real good helper, so we're not going to have to show you a dog that's fighting and stressing out the whole time. But if you do have a dog that gives you a hard time and wants to get away and tries to bite, um, it's a good thing to have somebody else hold the dog. A good way to hold the dog is just around the middle, hug tight to your body um, with your hand up here around the neck so you can protect whoever's trimming the nails from being bit. If Crawford was a biter, I'd hold the, the, the paw this way so I could keep my hand and out of her range of, of the bite. Um, but Crawford's not going to give me a problem, so that's just some information if you had a dog that was real difficult to trim the nails. Um, with Crawford, I'm just going to lift up her foot and pull the hair back. She does not have real hairy feet, so that's not a problem that I'm going to have to deal with. Um, her nails are real easy. The pink part is is the actual quick and the white is the part of the nail that we can cut. Um, if you cut too little off the nail is going to kind of crumble into a powdery substance and if you cut too much off you're going to hit that quick which is the gummy pink part and that's going to cause the dog to bleed. If you do quick the dog it's not an emergency you don't have to go to the vet but you can put quick stop on or any kind of powdery substance that you have at home flour anything like that will help the dog's um, blood to coagulate and stop bleeding. With Quick Stop, when you use it, you're just going to put the dog's nail into the Quick Stop, tap it down so it kind of packs on there, and that's going to stop it from bleeding. You don't want to get the Quick Stop in your eyes, the dog's eyes, in your mouth because it tastes terrible, on your clothes because it can stain. So that's the only problem with the Quick Stop. Um, so here we go. If I put my fingers underneath between her, her pads, that'll splay out the nails so I can see better what I'm doing. I come from the bottom up and you don't want to go tight to the quick because that will pinch the quick causing it to bleed. So about halfway between where the pink starts and the white ends is how quickly we're going to cut. It's okay Crawford. Just real quickly, a quick little cut and there you go, there goes your nail. It's okay. Oh, it's all right, Crawford. There we go. And now we're going to Dremel her nails. This Dremel has um, many different speeds going from a 2 all the way to a 10. 2 being slow, 10 being fast. I, I wouldn't recommend using it on anything higher than a 4 or 6 because the, the Dremel can get easily caught in the dog's fur and then you'll really have a fiasco. Again, the same thing. Put your finger underneath so you can splay the nails out. Turn your Dremel on. Put it tight up against the nail and just roll it back and forth. I think Crawford's saying we need to turn it down a little bit, so we'll go back to a two. And sometimes dogs don't like this. It's real important to keep their nose away. Just roll it back and forth. And I imagine it feels kind of funny because it's putting pressure on their nail and, you know, having a grinding motion. Just roll it back and forth so it rubs off any rough edges. Good girl, Crawford. Mm. 
That is our tutorial for nail trimming. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.